Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-82 from R.C. Hebeler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have the pole is subjected to the force F, which has components Fx that is 1.5 kN and Fz that is 1.25 kN. If beta, one of the coordinate direction angles, is 75 degrees, determine the magnitudes of F and Fy. So first of all, we must remember our relation that is for the coordinate direction angles and the relation is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 1. And we have been given the fx and I can also write fx as f cos alpha which in turns is equals to 1.5 kN. So from here, let's call this equation A. So uh, from this equation, cos alpha is equals to 1.5 over F. Similarly, Fz could also be written as F cos gamma which in turns is 1.25 kN. So from here, cos, L, cos gamma is equals to 1.25 over F. So I'm going to substitute the values of cos alpha and cos gamma in equation A. So equation A becomes One point five over F the whole square plus cos square beta and the value of beta is seventy five degrees that is given to us in the problem plus the cos gamma that is one point two five upon F the whole square equals to one. So upon further simplification it becomes 2.25 over f square plus and this becomes 0 0.067 plus 1.56 divided by f square equals to 1. So when you take the LCM and simplify it, it becomes 2.25 plus 0 0.067 f square plus 1.56 equals to f square. All right. Now we have to find the value of f. So f square, if you simplify it a little bit, f square is 4.5. 0, 8 and when you take the square root on both sides it comes out to be 2.02 kN. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the magnitude of F1. So we know that F5 could be written as F cos beta and we know that the beta is 75 degrees and f is 2.02 kN. So f5 becomes 2.02 into cos 75 degrees which in turns becomes 0 0.523 kN. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts regarding this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.